Okay, let's go fucking do some chest. Oh, look at that, Oak. He's obviously fucking... What's it? Kinari. So, there's something that I actually wanted to do, say last night, but I couldn't because I ran out of space. But, if you are beginning with lifting, then I feel like, yes, you should spend more time in actually feeling the muscle and doing the movement properly before you add weight. Because as soon as you can feel the muscle in whatever movement that you are doing, you can kind of, to a point, do it, uh, let's say for instance, you can then add weight and do it how you want. As long as you're actually feeling the muscle and you're not using too much of others, like of all the other fucking muscles and that, to do the movement that you want to because you want to fucking do something heavy. For instance, if you take bicep curls, right? If you're just beginning out, you obviously, you'll need to kind of know how to do bicep curls to actually fucking feel it. You know, so then, as soon as you can do the curls properly, then from there on out, you should be able to add weight. And then, it kind of doesn't matter how much to the point, or to a point, of how you do it, as long as you feel it. So even if you use a little bit of momentum, as long as you can just feel your fucking biceps squeeze, then it shouldn't matter. Because everyone's gonna do it a little different. There's not one specific way which should be the right way. So yeah. But yeah, do it however the fuck you want, as long as you feel it. And do it as strict as what you can, for at least for the first part of it. And then, I was just about to say this fucking hurt. Yeah, just, just for the first part of it, and then, you, obviously you have a little bit of swing in it, especially if it's going to be heavy fucking calls. Then you can have a little bit of a swing to it, like for instance what I do is I lean to the side that I call, just so that, because when I stand up straight my arms don't lean or don't hang directly down, so then, when I do the bicep curl, I'll lean a little more to the side that I'm curling so that my arm hangs directly down so that I pull from my bicep. So yeah, I'm going side to side, but I'm not fucking swinging the weight. Because then that's useless. I don't feel it in my bicep. I would rather go heavy and lean and curl into my fucking arm than what I would just swing it just so that I can get the weight up. If that makes sense. But yeah, ego lifting is fun to a point. Probably, actually, I don't know, I, I can't care too much of what other people do. As long as I'm happy with what I'm doing and I'm feeling whatever the fucking movement that I'm... Because there's stuff where I go heavy and then I don't feel it and then I fucking stop. So then, fuck that. I would just, I would then drop the weight, go a little lower, in, you know, lower and then squeeze it or feel it a little more than what I'm actually just fucking doing the weight like the weight's fun if you can actually feel the fucking muscle that you're working so let's go push weight and feel chest because that's what I'll be working and yeah we'll probably check you guys a little later ego lift with form fuckers because then no one can tell you shit okay Today was literally a fucking bench focused day. Shut. I did three plates for four reps. I went for the fifth and I so I did like I did like four and a half. Which is not fucking bad because I like my max max was three. So it went up by one rep at least. Which is definitely not a fucking bad thing. You know, I won't, I won't say no to a little bit of progress, you know. A little bit of progress is better than fuck all. So I'd rather, rather have little bits by little bits. And then when you look again, I can do five. When you look again, I can do six. And then from six to eight. And then from eight to ten. And then ten to twelve. Twelve to fucking fifteen. When you look at it again, I can bench four or five or four plates. Close to five plates. So little, little improvements is where it's at 
you're not just gonna fucking wake up at bench 20, 20 to 50 pounds heavier. Unless, listen to me carefully, unless you probably fuck with trend, then, then only your shit will explode by that much. Um, we have not fucked with trend as if yet. That is why, well, that's not why I'm still weak, because obviously, you know, you don't get your strength from it, you just increase the strength. So if you are weak before using Tren, you'll definitely be stronger, but you won't be insanely fucking strong. That's not how the shit works. For me, like, your, your strength will go up. Like, I'll, I could maybe go from, like, a, a three-plate... Um, press to a fucking to a four plate press you if you can only do one plate or two plates you're gonna go from a two plate to a three plate maybe more i might do a little more maybe it's also depending on probably how much food you fucking taking in but the point of the thing is cream doesn't give you your strength it just increases it and uh little improvements day by day is what eventually makes the bigger picture a little better you're not just gonna wake up and you're gonna be at the bigger picture it's it's going to be little bits by little bits day by day fucking improvements so yeah let's go get it i am saying cheers i don't know why i said let's go get it because we're done fucking training but yeah get your little fucking improvements and you'll be okay